Hi, this is Ged Mayhew from the Icon Factory, and I'm here with another linear sketch tutorial. This time, we're talking about annotations, um, the ability to add small text labels to your sketch. And uh, I'm going to run you through a, a quick tutorial on how to do this. And for the purposes of this, I've come up with an infographic cartoon here that you can see on the scientific method. And we're going to be adding text annotations uh, to this in different uh, positions and colorings and formats. And uh, hopefully by the end of this, you'll have a really good understanding of how annotations work. Um, you can see that I've sketched in where I want my text to go on each of these panels. Um, so I have a basic idea of the words and how they're going to be laid out. Um, we're going to be editing that obviously as we go, so um, it's just a guide really, but I mean I want to make sure that I knew where things were and what they were going to say and all of that. Um, so let's get started, but before we actually apply text to this graphic, I'm going to go and open up a new sketch. And because it's going to be easier to, for you to see how annotations are created and how you edit them and everything without anything in the background. So let's just create our first annotation. What we're going to actually do is we're going to go up in the corner and tap on the annotation icon to enter annotation mode. And we're going to tap on the screen with our finger or the pencil. And then we're going to actually tap the green edit button with our finger. And that at enters the edit mode for the annotation and I can actually type our first word. Now you could handwrite this word in with scribble, um, but we found in testing that using the keyboard is less error prone and it's just quicker. So I recommend using the keyboard whenever you have annotations you want to, you know, you have text you want to add to an annotation. Now in this example you can see that the green edit icon is lit at the top that means that the the annotation is ready to accept input whether either scribble or with the keyboard once you're done and you have the text that you want to use for that tap it again to turn off edit mode now we're just in the regular annotation mode and we can reposition the annotation we can resize the text box so the text will flow differently um, we can rotate it And we can also tap the annotations options, which is up there next to the edit. And that gives us all of the different options that we can format the text for, including alignment, left, centered, right, or justified. We can also change to preset text sizes, small, medium, large. And we can also set to a dynamic scaling option here. And so when I scale the text box in this mode, the whole word increases or the whole text box increases in size or decreases in size, which is really handy if you want something that's, you know, unique, you need to size text into a, a unique space. But if you want to keep all of your annotations consistent in size, then you can use the preset sizes like that. So how do we set a font? All we have to do is we tap the annotations menu up in the corner and then we tap the font menu and we have presented with an entire list of all the fonts that Linea has. Right now this particular annotation, this, this sketch is set to Amelia, um, but we can set it to anything we want and we'll set handy casual because that's what we're going to use in our infographic. So we've set the font and now let's pick a color. So all we have to do is select the annotation and then choose the color that we want. And we can choose any color, it will just change accordingly. Colors are set on a per annotation basis so you can have different annotations set to different colors. All of the font for the entire sketch is set to a single font. There's no per font settings in annotations in Linea. Um, that's done for simplicity and hopefully it, it will fulfill your needs. But if not, you can always create an annotation and merge it down to the layer below. In fact, let's do that right now. I can select the, the annotation and I can click on that and they say merge down. 
And now what it's done is it's converted the, the font into a bitmap and put it on the first layer. And we can adjust the opacity of that layer. You can see I can lasso it and transform it. Like I can stretch it. Anything that I would do to a normal bitmap selection in Linea, I can do now because I've merged the type down to its own layer and set it as a bitmap. So if there are specific styling things you want to do to your annotations, that's the way you would do it. Okay, so let's make our very first annotation on the infographic itself. And you can see here that I've, I've sketched in the rough type about where I want the annotation to go. And what we're going to do is we're just going to tap the annotation icon to enter annotation mode. I'm going to tap with my finger and then I'm going to tap my finger again and say edit. And we're going to lock the caps lock down. I'm going to say experiment and study. And then I'm going to tap the edit icon to exit edit mode. Now we're just in regular annotation mode. So I'm going to reflow this text so we can see the whole thing and then I'm going to scale it down, make it a little bit wider. And then I'm going to choose a font and I'm going to tap the annotation menu again and I'm going to say font and I'm going to pick handy casual because that's what the font we're going to be using. And again, I'm going to tap the annotation and I'm going to resize the box a little bit more to get it positioned better and scale it up. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm just tapping out of annotation mode so that you can see I'm going to turn off the sketch text underneath. So we set our first annotation and if we didn't like that color, we could select it again select annotation and pick a different color well, that doesn't work maybe a dark text like that that could be cool um, but I think I'm gonna stick with yellow and let that be the color for this particular annotation so we set our first one and that's pretty cool so we're doing pretty good let's do one more and then we can jump ahead and I'll show you the the end result let's do the hypothesis panel here and let's add exit enter annotations mode one more time I'm going to tap the top and edit and type hypothesis yep and I'm going to close that one up a little bit and exit edit mode position it maybe it size up a little bit and then yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, and we're going to add a, a big text block for this text here, which we want to say, based on what I know, this is what I expect will happen. So I'm going to enter an annotation mode, tap again, edit, based on what I know, comma, this is what I expect will happen exclamation mark and edit exit editing and I'm going to scale that down and reflow that and turn it black so we can see what we're doing I'm going to turn off that t sketch text so the, f the text isn't flowing exactly right so and we also have, see, I made a typo there. So we'll select the annotation and we'll tap with our, our finger inside. A great tip when you're in edit mode, you can tap and hold on the space bar on the keyboard and reposition the cursor in case you need to, to delete things like that. And this is pretty good now that the text is correct, but I still need to reflow it properly. So I'm going to turn off edit mode and scale that a little bit like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I'm going to add a return there and break that onto the last line like that. That's better. Yep, that looks pretty good.
So again, I can reposition it and recolor it if I wanted to, but we're good for now. So I'll exit that. So this is after the entire panel has been annotated. You can see that we've input the title up here. And now you can see I've, I've got three different annotations here because you can tell that because they're colored differently. They're not a single annotation. I wanted them colored differently. So if we go into annotation mode, we can see the the is one word, scientific is another, and method is the third. That allows us to color the text in different ways. And another thing that I wanted to let you know about is, okay, say you've done an annotation and you really like the way the font looks and you want to set the font to be the default choice for every new sketch that you make from here on out. Like this, this font that we're using, Handy Casual. I really like that. Maybe I'm doing a series of sketches and I want them all to use the same font. Um, so how do I do that? Well, it's really pretty easy. What you do is you open a sketch and set an annotation to the font that you like the best. You can also set the background to be the color and the texture, the like the paper background that you like the best, white bond, whatever. If you have a template that you like to use, such as a grid or storyboards or whatever, if you turn that on as well, all of these things are picked up in this option under, under the uh, sketch options here, which is set canvas as default. Now, Linea says, okay, I'm gonna use these settings from now on whenever you create a new sketch. So if I make a new sketch and I create a new annotation, it will be automatically set to handy casual. Um, and the background will be set to white bond. And at the moment I have no templates turned on. So that is the now the default template for any new sketch going forward. That covers the basics of annotations. Um, if you want to use Scribble to try to do editing, um, I, I encourage you to experiment with it. We can try it. I'll show it real quick here on the OR. Um, we're going to edit edit mode, and I'm going to scribble it out. And now I can write anywhere else on the screen. So I'm going to I'm going to write in OR, and it worked. It 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 seemed to work pretty well. Um, it works great for small, short things like single word applications or maybe like a few words at a time. Um, writing entire paragraphs is problem problematic with it. Um, just like in the Newton days of old, if you remember the Newton handwriting recognition, it's not perfect and errors tend to creep in. So um, again, it's better to really edit with the keyboard when you're using annotations in Linea. Um, you'll, you'll find that out. And the main thing to remember is when you create an annotation is selecting it and then tapping the edit button to actually edit the text. And then when you're done editing the text, release it, deselect edit. Uh, and that way you won't, you know, accidentally start adding characters or anything else when you use annotations in Linea. I hope this has been helpful once again. And uh, thanks for your time. See you next time. Take care. Bye.